Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul RV Bike Rack here on our 2022 Phoenix Cruiser Motorhome. Now the Long Haul is going to be a really solid bike rack here and it's going to be motorhome approved. That is important because not all bike racks are. You're going to have extra vibrations and shock back here that your bike rack needs to be tested against to make sure it's up to the task and this one definitely is. You will see it is a hanging style rack, so we've got two points of contact here on the top, these straps holding our bike by the frame, and this third point on the seat post, limiting our back and forth movement so we don't have any sort of bike to bike contact or even bike to motor home in some cases. It is gonna hold it really well, but do be cautious of any sort of carbon frame bikes that will damage the frame having them hang like that and alternative frame bikes slash kids bikes, you will probably want to pick up a bike adapter bar because of the way these arms are spaced out and the method of attaching it by the frame. You have a 37 and a half pound weight capacity per bike here, so just make sure you aren't overloading it, especially with it on the back of your motorhome here. With the bikes on, I do wanna show you, we have an integrated cable lock in the back right here. We can run that up through the frames of our bikes and up to this integrated stud right here to lock it up. And that is key to like with our hitch lock down at the bottom. So I'll let this get routed back into the upright portion of the bike rack here. It's nice that it's just built right in and we can get the bike unloaded. It's pretty easy to do. These strips do come right out. So just press in on both sides and pull the strap out like that to release it and make sure you put them back on when you're done so you don't lose them. From here, we can just lift the bike up and away. On the ends of the arms, you will notice the integrated bottle openers. That is signature for many of Yakima's products. Just a nice little feature to have, especially if you're at the campsite and wanna crack open a cold one, you can. And again, I like to just put these straps back in place because I don't want to lose them when the bikes aren't loaded. Now, I will point out that some of these bike racks can tilt away with the bikes unloaded, like the Kurt Premium, it can do that. So you can get access to this back portion here. Unfortunately, this rack does not tilt. So this portion of the bike or of the RV will be unreachable with the bike rack in place. So unfortunately we would have to remove it if we want access back there. For some measurements here, let's check out our overall length added to the back. We are gonna be sticking out 40 inches from the back of the motorhome to the end point right here. That is a fair bit of length added, but we can fold these arms down when it isn't loaded. We've got this gray button right here at the top, super easy to press, and the arms will fold down and lock into place right there. That's gonna cut our length added down to 13 inches, more like even 12 and a half. So a lot more condensed, and it doesn't come too close to the motorhome here. The closest point is five and a half inches away with very little movement here, so I'm not worried about contact. Down at the bottom, we have 14 inches of ground clearance here. Pretty darn good. It's pretty much on par with the other hanging style racks like this, and it will fit in a two inch by two inch receiver tube with that locking anti-rattle bolt included, keeping everything nice and stable in the hitch as well as secure. Now overall, I do like that it comes with the locks right out of the box so I don't have to pick them up separate. And it is a very solid rack. For your motorhome here though, I would recommend the Kurt Premium just so you can get that tilt away feature and you don't have to sacrifice any sort of functionality with this cargo door. Either way though, they're gonna get the job done and haul your bike safely. Thanks for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are going to be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up.
Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is going to be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on.